Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Tucson guys. It could be practically almost any generation Hyundai Tucson. You have check engine light on and any of the following codes. I'm talking about code P0075, code P0076, code P0077. Stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. Now, even though we're demonstrating on a 2.4 GDI gasoline engine, it should work on multiple generations and engines that have been used in Hyundai Tucson. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to take them completely apart and make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. So, looking at the engine right here guys, that's a 2.4 GDI engine, most modern Hyundai engines uh, past 2012, uh, they're dual variable timing engines, it means that you have variable timing on the intake and the exhaust camshafts. So, in order to have variable timing guys, you have to have VVT solenoids, variable timing solenoids that divert the oil pressure to different, uh, different chambers on the camshaft sprockets and that will advance or retard okay, the timing. So, uh, actually, uh, if you guys uh, uh, look at it, that's one of them, that's for the intake side, that's for the exhaust side. If you have any of those codes for 7.5 to 7.7, we'll explain what can uh, usually cause that. But before we continue, let me tell you guys, many of you ask us in the comment section below to share information about diagnostics that we use. That's the one that we prefer guys, I'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features. It works on Hyundai and almost any car you can think of. It's a tool that can pay itself off in one time use. So, looking guys at that engine line, now, if you have any of these codes, you need to identify where the intake camshaft is located. That's usually next to the intake manifold. And you need to find the variable timing solenoid. Things to check, always guys, inspect right here. The connector, make sure the wires are plugged in, not pulled from here, okay. Uh, remove the connector itself. Inspect everything, make sure that nothing's bent, corroded, okay, covered with oil or wet guys, because that can affect it. Number two, it could be the solenoid itself, okay, we uh, have a special video that explains how to remove the solenoid, but uh, if you guys uh, look at that solenoid, uh, they often do not go back, okay, on higher mileage engines, or if you haven't changed your engine oil quite often, what can happen, they can get dirty on the inside where they open and close, and that can, that can make them sluggish, slow, and you can get these codes. So, uh, number one thing guys, change your oil. Number two, Try cleaning and testing the solenoid. We have a special video that explains how to clean and test VVT solenoid on Hyundai on our main YouTube channel, how to repair guys. Now, number three guys, make sure you have the correct amount of engine oil and the specific engine oil for your engine. For instance, this one is 5W20. Another thing, it could be a bad solenoid, but by testing it, you will find out if it's working or not. You hope the next one is not the case, but we don't see it quite often. It could be bad camshaft sprockets, guys, okay, or stretch timing chain that can actually cause those as well. Those are the most common things that we see here at the shop. Hopefully, guys, uh, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.